In this video, let's see a numerical illustration based on the previous video that we studied about that is the property number 4. Now we know that this property says what? It says that if each element of a row or a column is multiplied by any constant, then what happens? The value of the determinant also gets multiplied by that constant. You have to verify the above property for a determinant A which has certain entries in the manner. Now you can see that this determinant is a special type of determinant because 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, these two rows are having some proportional elements. That means what? 1, 2, 3 is fine. There is no issue with it. 5, 10, 15 is what? 5 means 5 into 1. 10 means 5 into 2. 15 means 5 into 3 that you can see. And minus 2, 5, 9 is okay. It is something else which does not have to be related to row 1 and 2. That means 5 is a constant factor that is named as k in the property. So the answer should be what? The answer should be that whatever the value of determinant is there, the value of the determinant basically gets multiplied by that. So now let's see what happens and now let's see how to do it. I know that the proof would be what? It would be something like that. We have to expand it and then forget about everything. Forget about having any proportional elements or anything. Just expand and expand along the row 1. What do we note? Let's see. Expanding along row 1 means writing 1. Then ignoring the first row and first column. And you have a subdeterminant which has 10, 15, 5, 9. Right? Then is minus 2. Expanding along with this means including certain things, excluding certain things. So exclude this column. Exclude that row. You have 5, 15, minus 2, 9. Last but not the least, you have plus 3. Then you have to do what? You have to basically exclude certain things. You have 5, 10, minus 2, 5. You know how we are going to do this. We have to just now cross multiply. So it is 10, 9s and 90, minus 75. Next is what? Minus 2, 45, plus 30. What we are going to do? We are just cross multiplying. Last but not the least is plus 3 and it is 25 plus 20. What have we done? 10 9s are 90, 5 15s are 75, 5 9s are 45, 2 5s are 30, 5 5s are 25, 10 2s are 20. Now what is the answer? Let's see. It is 15 here. It is minus 2 into 75 here. It is plus 3 into 45 here. Solve it. You have 15 minus 150 plus what is the value? It is 135. Now what is 15 plus 135? It is 150. 150 minus 150 is 0. So the answer has come out to be 0. But what was the property and how this has come 0? Let's see. You know that 1, 2, 3, 5 into 1, 5 into 2, 5 into 3. By the previous property that we studied, can this determinant be written something like this? What we are doing is, we are basically taking 5 common. If 5 is common, you have this value in the determinant. And you see that row 1 and row 2 are what? They are identical. That means, if 2 rows are identical, I already know the value of determinant is going to come out as 0. And 0 into 5 is also 0. That is why the answer is 0. So, if such question comes in your exam, you don't need to solve this. You just need to remember the previous properties and this property. And you will come to know that, okay, this 5 is coming in every element. Let's take out 5 common. Okay, now we have 2 rows equal. That means the identical rows will give me a 0 determinant value. And that 0 multiplied by 5 will give me 0.